is equal, right? Uh, no exceptions. <laughs> no exceptions and no exceptionalism. If I read that right, okay. Listen to the peacemakers. I said, hey, get this one, this is the last one. Listen to you when people insult you, slander you, persecute you. Uh, be glad about that. You're in good company. That's exactly what they did to the earlier prophets. That's easier said than done, but I think we need to do that. We need to keep doing that. And there's a, a typical American trait that I've run into where people are reluctant to do something that they might not be successful in, you know? In other words, who wants to be laughed at? Who wants to go out and do something on principle and then have people say, oh, great, what did you think you were uh, doing by, by uh, turning your back on, on a, a warmonger uh, political figure? So there's this natural reluctance not to do things that are hard underneath the surface we're prophets to do. One of my prophets is uh, Daniel Berrigan, who would have been 101 just last month. And, and what he said was, look, you know, after we did that action in outside of Baltimore, uh, burning draft cards, uh, we were in the only uh, federal office building in this small little town. It was uh, the post office. And we're sitting around, and I'm thinking,